Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and as you can see the fish room is still in absolute chaos from that large fish order I got in. But my shrimp order I just got as well and another fish order because apparently I'm a glutton for punishment. Uh, the reality is, is I had these other things planned before I knew I was going to be getting all those other fish. So I got in some super red ancestress from a breeder in Texas named Kenneth Wong. And they are absolutely, wow, absolutely stunning, stunning fish. And he did what a really excellent packing job. You can see even stress in the bag how red these guys are. So I need to find a space for them. It looks like I got 60 of them. Um, get over there. And then you probably can't tell right now, but there's eight buckets of shrimp sitting here. I do have tanks prepared for them, so I'm going to get started. Um, this week has been a particularly busy one for me, well actually starting last week. I, I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but I was invited to be the keynote speaker at the Mars convention. And Mars is the Mid-Atlantic Region Zebra Danio fish. Um, organization and what that is is it's a group of scientists who utilize zebra danio fish for research purposes to help cure human diseases and I was there to talk about fish keeping so you can imagine uh, how tired my brain was after that but it was a really incredible experience I got to network with some pretty incredible medical doctors and uh, you know, I, I made some contacts that I think it'll be really useful for fish keeping and also for them to get new species that are healthy. We will put the reds in that 55. Um, anyway, so Mars was really interesting. I did get to take a brief tour of the research lab um, and I'll try and show you guys some footage of that. So going to Mars was super interesting. Um, the director, Marnie Halpern, is actually uh, a YouTube subscriber of mine, and that's how she found me looking for information on Danianella. And let me tell you, she did such a wonderful job with this convention. I've been to a lot of these, and they really kept it on time. They kept it going. They had a fantastic dinner afterwards where I got to meet some really exciting people. Uh, but depending on how that goes and if I get to go back for more tours, I'll tell you more then. Um, so that was last Friday. And then this shrimp shipment was supposed to come in last Tuesday, but it got delayed and then it got delayed again. And then it was supposed to come in Wednesday and it didn't. It was supposed to come in Thursday and it didn't. Oh wait, it did come in Thursday, but it came in a bit late. So it missed its flight to me, which which normally wouldn't be a big deal, but because I was speaking at Mars on Friday, I was unavailable to receive freight, and I was unable to go to the airport. Um, what we didn't realize was that there weren't gonna be any flights from him to me all weekend, and only one real flight from him to me during the week, which has multiple stops, and was longer than it would be to drive to his facility and back. Now, you guys know my opinions on getting in shrimp from overseas and that I don't really, ouch, good lord, these are on tight. Now, you guys know my opinions on getting in shrimp from overseas. It's not what I like to do. I prefer to buy from domestic sources, but there just hasn't been enough available. Um, so I figured I would do this this one time and see how it goes and check the quality. This is a distributor that I don't usually use. That one smells pretty strongly of ammonia. So I'm gonna get them out right away. Now I tend to put shrimp into tanks that have been running for a super long time. 
So these are the new tangerine tigers. They're just like a tangerine tigers I have had in the past. There's quite a few. Their color's pretty decent. They're a bit small, but overall they look pretty darn good. Next door to them, in this tank that's covered with algae, is orange eye tigers. Next door is a tiger species. They look fine. Again, really, really small. So far, everything's settled in really well. Next door to them are my crystal reds. Again, really, really tiny, but they look pretty darn healthy. Karami cameo. Look at those puppies begging for food. Up here are the Sakura red shrimp. They're exactly that. Just some slightly nicer cherry shrimp so far. Everybody looks pretty darn good. Um, I do have to pull everything out and do some macro photography to make sure that there is no external parasites and I'll let them go through a molt cycle before I offer them for sale. In this tank are orange really. I put all my shrimp into really mature tanks so you'll see a little bit of algae and some mulm. I did vacuum them before I added them but the refill blew out some dirt that I, I hadn't gotten from inside the plants. I find that this really helps them to settle in a lot better than going into a sterile environment. Next door is my breeding colony of blues. You can see there's quite a few babies around. Um, I sold a bunch this week, so they're back off my list again until I can allow more babies to breed out. In this tank are yellow back neocaridina, standard yellow shrimp. Um, yellow shrimp have been around since the early 2000s, so I find them to be stable. Probably the second most sturdy dwarf shrimp after cherries. Over here are some black tigers. Um, which look good. They didn't have any real species name on them, so I'm not entirely sure what they are. They remind me of super tigers, but they don't have as thick a patterning. not entirely sure what fancy black tiger means and that's really my biggest issue with most of these exporters but the shrimp look pretty good again there's a lot of plants in this tank to help them try and settle in these are the super red ancestress i picked up you can see their coloring is spectacular even right after being added to a tank they're nice and fat and healthy and obviously gorgeous. I'm pretty excited to have these. And I really appreciate Ken thinking of me. And here's the stuff of my nightmares. Oh. I mean, they are adorable, but man, that gives me the willies. Look at them. Ugh. All in all, all the new fish and shrimp look outstanding. Um, I have a couple more days of just like brutal labor, getting everything stabilized and feeding adequately, but then it should be smooth sailing after that. Um, Oh, and I got a monos too. I forgot to show you guys those. They're in here with these Soelia. Just your normal monos. But everything is going swimmingly in the fish room, despite the massive amounts of mess that I have produced.
the fish all look about as good as can be expected for having just come out of the wild a couple days ago. So I'm really pleased and it's just a testament to clean water and lots of food being the best medicine for newly imported fish and shrimp. So as you guys can see, it has been an insane several days. I am woefully behind on my email, so I'm going to sit here and try and get caught up before I have to start the next round of water changes and feeding the fish in the basement. Um, I'm out of town again this weekend for my daughter to have a dive meet. But all in all, it's not been bad. All the fish, for the most part, look really great. The shrimp look you know, like shrimp, as I expected. So, as always, I really appreciate you guys helping me out. I've been receiving a lot of donations lately, and that is awesome because it made me able to help these fish that would have otherwise had nowhere to go. Um, so, thank you to those of you that have been buying me a cup of coffee and trying to help me out. Um, and to those who have been emailing and messaging, I really appreciate your patience. I've been going about 18 hours a day nonstop and still trying to be a mom. And it's springtime, um, so there's stuff to do in the yard. So I'm going to get this edited, get back to my emails before I start the evening routine and my round of water changes all again. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions. First off, if you want to come over, you're more than welcome, but I don't know what your day is like. Or... He's our key um, keeper. Yep. He's keeping it clean. Mind blowing, right? Yeah, that's a lot of Zebra Danios. There are. And we have, uh, you know, there's different uses here. Uh, like, we should be able to see. I mean, they're all different. 